Ukraine's surprise offensive into Russian territory is perhaps the most daring adventure in more than two years of war, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley, said CBS News reports. This is a big psychological blow to Russian thinking, in particular to Putin, because for the first time since World War II, Ukrainians have penetrated Russian territory, he noted. At the same time, Milley noted that the territory of almost 1,300 square kilometers is only a dot on the map of the Russian Federation. So with three open flanks, it could be risky. The Russians can concentrate their forces, cut them off and defeat the Ukrainians, the expert warned. When asked whether he expected Russian leader Vladimir Putin to launch a major counter-offensive to retake his territory, Milley replied, that's at least one possibility that could well happen in the coming months. Milley believes that President Volodymyr Zelensky, with the operation in the Kursk region, is betting that the defensive lines in Ukraine will hold while he opens a new front on Russian territory. He took a calculated risk to put himself in a strong position for what he thought would be the start of some negotiations, perhaps next year. The military officer explained, in particular, the general is referring to the risk of whether the US will continue to provide Ukraine with sufficient weapons to combat Russian aggression. If somehow that aid is cut off, if Europe or the United States does not support Ukraine, then I think it will be very problematic for Ukraine to continue its fight. Milley warned. Earlier, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky stressed that the Ukrainian armed forces operation in the Kursk region had already shown some results. According to him, it slowed down the Russian Federation and forced them to transfer some of their forces to Kursk. Our fighters in the East are already saying that they are being hit less often. I am not saying that this is a resounding success or that it will lead to the end of the war or the end of Putin. This has shown our partners what we are capable of. The head of state noted. In turn, Igor Shaltis, a serviceman of the Nachtigal Battalion, spoke about the reaction of the Russians to the invasion of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region. According to him, the Russian army actually resisted, but the civilian population showed no desire to actively resist. Russia is ready for a potential conflict with NATO in the Arctic, said the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the country, Sergei Lavrov. We see how NATO is intensifying exercises related to possible crisis in the Arctic. Our country is fully ready to defend its interests in military, political and defense technological terms, Lavrov said. According to Politico, the announcement was another display of military rhetoric from the Kremlin, which has repeatedly threatened the use of force against NATO and its allies, including the possibility of nuclear conflict. The Arctic is the northernmost point of the Earth and its territories belong to eight countries. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Canada, the USA, Iceland and Russia. All countries except Russia are members of NATO. Finland joined NATO last April following Russia's invasion of Ukraine and Sweden joined the alliance in March this year, bringing NATO's membership to 32. Lavrov also emphasized that the Arctic is not NATO territory and emphasized that other countries such as China and India have their own interests in the region. Earlier, one of Moscow's high-ranking officials warned that Finland would suffer the worst in the event of a war between NATO and Russia. In February, Russia suspended its participation in the Arctic Council, an intergovernmental forum that includes Arctic countries. This was the result of a boycott by other participants after the start of Russian aggression against Ukraine. Despite this, some cooperation was partially restored. The US military is steadily boosting its presence near Alaska, deploying a destroyer and an army unit armed with a long-range missile system as tensions rise due to stepped-up Russian and Chinese military activities near the Alaskan coast. Over the past month, the destroyer USS Steret has been dispatched to the Alaskan coast in response to the Russian Navy ships operating in the area. Army troops have landed on a remote Alaskan island and fighter squadrons and other aircraft based in Alaska have been placed on heightened alert. The actions follow a series of Russian air operations that skirted Alaskan airspace and as Russian and Chinese warships conducted joint exercises across the Pacific near Japan, Moscow has taken to flexing its muscles in the Indo-Pacific and the Arctic as its relationship with China deepens, thanks in part to the war in Ukraine.